you know, I grew up in China and my um, parents were missionaries there. And so I, I grew up out there. And actually there was a lady, a German lady, that was a single missionary. And she used to uh, preach and teach to the young people. She was very concerned about the missionaries, children and everything. And she taught about the Holy Spirit and prayed, you know, for uh, the Holy Spirit to be outpoured. But that's where I heard and really uh, desired. Of course, my mother read the Bible to us every day and uh, so forth. But I knew I was born again. But I, I didn't know for sure that I had the baptism of the Spirit. So I came, we came back from China as exchange prisoners of war. And I, I turned actually 13 in America. So I was 12 when I left China. So anyways, I attended my uncle's church and every Friday he would have uh, youth meetings for us after the service was, I mean, after school was over. And I, I remember I wanted to be filled with the Holy Spirit so badly. So I said to my girlfriend, uh, who was not filled either, I said, why don't we, after the youth meeting, we, we don't go when everybody else goes. Let's go into the basement where the prayer rooms were. Uh, we'll go there and we'll just stay there till we get baptized in wow. the Holy Spirit. We'll just pray until we get baptized. I, I rude the day that I even made that suggestion because we went down there and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And, prayed. and then I started getting hungry and I began wishing that but we had said, we're going to stay here until we get baptized. So I got the thought, I thought, well, if one of us would get baptized, at, at least then maybe we could go ahead and go. All right, it wasn't very spiritual, was it? Um, so you know what I did? She was, we were both kneeling there in the prayer rooms. There were benches and you kneel there. Um, she was kneeling, praying, and I was in my spot. I got up and I went over to her and I put my hand on her head and I started praying for her. Oh God, fill her with the Holy Spirit. And the next thing I knew, I was praying in tongues. That's how I got filled. <laughs> uh, did she though? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that far back, but I do know that that was the beginning of being baptized in the Holy Spirit. And, you know, I, I was so, I think, usually we're so caught up with, you know, trying to do it, and, you know, I don't know how to do it. And instead of focusing on the Lord, you know, and when I went, and maybe he had already come in me, but I just hadn't spoken yet. But I don't know. But once I went over and started to pray for her and forgot myself, um, I received that 